Gentleman from Alaska, Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of H.R. 330, a bill to designate a National Distinguished Flying Cross Memorial in Riverside, California. The memorial honors all current and former members of the armed forces who have been awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross. For the past two Congresses, the House has overwhelmingly passed a bill. Today, I stand again in support of H.R. 330, which would designate the memorial at Marchfield Air Museum as the Distinguished Flying Cross National Memorial. The legislation is supported by the Distinguished Flying Cross Society, the Military Officers Association of America, the Air Force Association, the Air Force Sergeants Association, the Association of Naval Aviation, the Vietnam Helicopter Pilots Association, and the China Burman Indian Veterans Association. I'd like to point out that the language in the bill specifically states that the designation shall not be construed to require or permit federal funds to be expended for any purpose related to the National Memorial. Funds have been and will continue to be raised through private means for these purposes. Distinguished Flying Cross recipients have received the prestigious medal for their heroism and extraordinary achievement while participating in aerial flight while serving in any capacity within the United States Armed Forces. There are many well-known people that have played a vital role in the history of the military aviation and have received the reward. This uh, renowned group includes Captain Charles L. Lindbergh, former President George H.W. Bush, Brigadier General Jimmy Doolittle, General Curtis LeMay, Senator John McCain, Senator George McGovern, Jimmy Stewart, and Admiral Jim Stockdale, just to name a few. The March Air Force Reserve Base, which hosts the C-17As of the 452nd Air Mobility Wing, is adjacent to the location of the memorial at March Field Air Museum. Visitors are able to witness active operational air units providing support to our troops around the world, which is an appropriate setting that honors the many aviators who have distinguished themselves by deeds performed in aerial flight. I like those who work tirelessly to ensure that this memorial is built and is properly designated to honor the distinguished aviators that have served this great nation. In particular, I'd like to recognize Jim Chaplin, his late, left, late wife, uh, Trish, uh, Distinguished Flying Cross Society's President, Chuck Sweeney, and the Society's historian, Dr. Barry Lamont, who was instrumental in this effort. Again, I hope you'll join me in supporting the designation of the National Distinguished Flying Cross Memorial at Marchfield Air Museum and HR 330. Thank you, and I yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman from Arizona.